But yeah, I mean, this is like so far out of people's reality. This is, this is what's funny when like guys like Modern Life Dating and these people come on and say like, oh, he's faking everything. Well, okay, like hundreds of pictures and hookup situations. He's faking everything, but, I, but he has none, okay? Or all my infield, oh, it's all hired hookers. I was going out five nights a week filming infield for several months. And then I had a, a follow-up period later where I, where I filmed for like 30 days straight. What's up guys, Jonathan here, Liz and Unique, and today's video is going to be about the last five song. So can you start, yes. John, the last five song that took place last weekend, which mm -hmm. happens to be yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. So uh, this young lady here started her own Tinder. You were running different threesome apps and some Tinder stuff with a joint profile before. She started her own Tinder with just like her as a girl looking for girls, right? And I told her like half of them are gonna be probably lesbians or just other couples, which I, you know, turned out to be true. A lot of the girls are like, oh, I'm only into girls or I'm only, we're looking for like a girl and her boyfriend looking for another girl. And so I told her she had to screen those out and I gave her my text scripts. She ended up getting about 14 numbers on her first day on Tinder, which is pretty impressive. And now the, it's just a matter of getting them set for dates. But the first one came over, was, and she's like being very selective, which is good too. Uh, the first one that came over was pretty hot. So, yeah. Yes, because I, I don't like any girl. I like pretty girls, hot girls, need to be a <laughs> combo. <laughs> yeah, that's combo of pretty I'm and hot. pretty, I don't want to be with any girl. <laughs> yes. So, okay, so we had this girl come over. You showed pictures of me. Like shortly before, I was like, I live with him, blah, blah, blah. She's like, he's cute, this and that. So she ended up coming over to like Saturday afternoon, right? And you were off with your brother mm -hmm. hiking. So why don't you begin the story? So she came over on Saturday afternoon and just start from there. And we start, me and her start to do a barbecue. John came and you start, right? I started kissing her, yeah. yeah. I did one of these things where like, I sat on, like, there was a different couch upstairs, but I sat on like the arm of the couch and put my arms around her and pulled her in and we started kissing. That's because she already uh, anticipated the story. I said to her, oh, I have a guy I have a, that I date and the, he, will come, uh, he will be here and I am empty you too. So I made a kind of anticipated set it up, story. Yeah, she set up a bit before. So I started kissing with her, then you came upstairs at one point, and then you started kissing with the girl as well. And then we just all got naked pretty quickly. <laughs> and we ended up banging this chick in a bunch of different positions all around the couch and then to the bed. Yes, it was awesome. And then um, you came back. And mm. she's really, re have a really good body. Yeah. And she is really nice in sex with a woman and woman, woman? Yeah, women. Woman and man too. It was awesome. She's good at sex, yeah. That's um, great. Yeah, so, that, so basically like, we had the threesome. Then I ended up banging her, I think, one on one after yeah. that. Because you were like outside cooking or some shit. Mm -hmm. or, well, I don't know what you're doing. Um, Oh, is it after the other girl came over? I banged her one on one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so there's this other girl we met at the beach that she invited over. And so we hadn't hooked up with this girl yet. And so that girl came over. We do a lot of the stuff where we just like invite a bunch of girls over and then like people just start hooking up and then other people get involved mm -hmm. and then. Um, but so, yeah, you were out there like barbecuing with that chick. I brought this chick here, banged her again. Mm -hmm. And then you got home. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up going to have a threesome with me and her and the original girl. And then, then you came down from upstairs. Yes, I came down. And then, so she joined in. And then, let's see. And then it turned into, you were outside with the original girl, smoking, I think, or talking. And then, and then uh, we went, we went with the, the beach girl. Yeah, to the beach girl, and then again. We had a threesome with the beach girl. Mm -hmm. And then, what happened after that? Uh, I think I banged the original girl again. Yeah, and, and then you bang the, the original girl, girl again. And then, <laughs> no, you bang the beach girl, <laughs> and then you come back. Sounds like you're saying the bitch girl. You're saying the beach girl. The beach girl. I bang the bitch girl. The beach girl. girl. And then you came, uh, and you came out, and then you bang the other one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then and I bang. Oh my God! Was 
crazy. Was no, I banged the original one, yeah. the original one in the morning and it again. Was so tired. And then we all went, we all went out to like a brunch, and then to see her one friend was singing, and then a different girl uh, who's a lesbian, and then we came back here. The beach girl ended up leaving, and then that's when we played like the strip Mortal Kombat, where I lost a lot. Just losing, yeah. just losing one match. Or sorry, if you lost a match, you had to take an article of clothing off, and I was just destroying everyone. So they all got naked, oh my God. and then it came down to the end where she was like the only one, not, only girl not naked, and you and the other girl were in the front, <laughs> fucking doing various things, and then uh, I ended up winning. But then, I, yeah, but then I got like all three of you, and I got to win a last one last time. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is like so far out of people's reality. This is, this is what's funny when like guys like Modern Life Dating and these people come on and say like, oh, he's faking everything. Well, okay, like hundreds of pictures and hookup situations. He's faking everything, but I, but he has none, okay? Or all my infield, oh, it's all hired hookers. I was going out five nights a week filming infield for several months. And then I had a, a follow-up period later where I, where I filmed for like 30 days straight. And you know, there's, I have more infield than anyone in the whole industry, more proof of results than anyone in the industry who's living with multiple hot girls on a tropical island. In a, in a penthouse, and these guys will come on. He's a smash can of fat assholes, or, or the uh, the newest thing where I just ripped on. I, I fought back to uh, fresh and fit and no jumper, who I didn't even know who the fuck that was. The dumb retard with face tats. And basically, those guys are like, "Oh, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard." Fourteen hundred girls, and at the time of this recording, it's one thousand three seventy-seven. And it's funny because it <laughs> it's the best part of OnlyFans is we can show that. That no. this is true. Yeah, yeah. I have more. I have a, a video about my proof, which is over an hour long, where I go over like how I have more infield than anyone, how I have been reporting the lay count since I hit 100 in 2012 on the forums, um, all through the forums, and, the, and all my videos I've been reporting it steadily. Anyone that knows me knows that I take it like very obsessively, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not that hard yeah. to keep track. You add one, or like in, the, in this past situation on the weekend, you're adding multiple. But it's it's not that fucking hard to track it. And then when I plot the progress, it was an exponential growth over time. Um, my, it took 10 years at the first 100 girls, and it was about 100 to 150 a year. Then the best year was 246. Okay? So I have more documented proof that make, to make an extremely, extremely, extremely compelling case. But anyone that says, oh, it's all hookers, or it's all fake, or whatever, it's an extremely weak argument when there's so much backup of proof. Okay? I have more backup than the rest of the industry combined. But then guys go to Reddit, I'm, I'm gonna make videos addressing this stuff. They go to Reddit and say, oh, worst, uh, PUA coach of all time, biggest scammer in the world, okay, when the direct opposite is true, and I'm the one that calls out all the actual scammers, and they have a bunch of fake Reddit accounts giving awards, and trying to uprank these, these slanderous posts and this and that, or other various coaches have made slanderous remarks, just full fabricating all kinds of things, uh, for which there will be consequences, and I'll get more into that in a, in a future video once the time is right. And so, you know, it's, it's just very frustrating for my, I mean, not, not ultimately frustrating, it's frustrating from like a image standpoint when I'm the guy that has by far the most proof of results in, in who's having foursomes and fivesomes and, and these big orgy things with all these hot Brazilian girls. <laughs> no one's even having a threesome now and then. None of these coaches are even banging hot girls now and then. We'll put up the thumbnail for the, the ugly wives and girlfriends. These guys all settle down with below average trash, okay, the, with girls that are threes, or girls that are fours or sometimes even lower than threes that are, as they call it, past the wall, that are just in disgusting shape, that have, you know, busted faces, etc. And everyone says, well, they must have perfect, perfect personalities, even though I know from behind the scenes that a lot of these women are, you know, controlling the, these, these big alpha gurus' lives and stuff like that as well. But even just for hypothetical sake, if they did have perfect personalities, it's no excuse because there's plenty of hot girls or even average looking girls because let's keep in mind these girls that they're settled with are below average. Okay, there's average and, and above that's a, a big world out there that also have great personalities. Okay, I think you guys have great personalities and you guys are a bit better than twos and threes, right? <laughs> No, but <laughs> no, but the point is, it's like disgraceful for these guys to be calling themselves gurus or, or masters or like, you know, all this stuff. And then they'll sit behind their keyboard and, and, and they're just showcasing all the beta traits. Even when they try to like come back at me, they can't say my name because they're huge pussies. They can't show a receipt to save their life because they're huge fucking losers and they don't have any skills. And the real receipts that they do have are their girlfriends and wives that are two or three. What more needs to be said? Does it matter that they have more subs? Fuck no. Does it matter that they have more money? Okay, in Richard Cooper's case, who he siphoned off of his brother in, in, the, in his business enterprise. Does it matter that Richard Cooper was able to 
the bio McLaren, does that finally make him cool? No, it fucking doesn't. No, of course not. Okay, girls are still going to snub him. He just got trampled on and walked on like a doormat by single moms his whole life of his own admission in his book. Okay, the what is it? What is it called? The the butt plug beta. I'll put up the thumbnail for that. And. <laughs> It's, it's just a very sad state of affairs, okay? And that doesn't even include all the people that are purposely scamming, which is, which is endless amounts of them. Okay, so I've always put the results right in people's faces. I take the backlash. People are, oh, I wanna sign up for your mentorship, but I see these bad reviews. I'm like, dude, these are full fabricated stories. And I can show, and I'm gonna show in, in future videos, these people that are just making fake Reddit accounts to get fake awards. And I even found out recently from my guy that's doing SEO, he said people are, are paying for backlinks. People are doing paid SEO and paid smear tactics to rank uh, fake fabricated reviews and these, you know, these things that are showing fake screenshots of hiring hookers and this and that so that they can rank high so that people will discredit my reputation. Because if they discredit my reputation, then all the stuff I said about their business being a scamming fucking pile of shit can be looked at with, with question as well. So, or at the very least, they're getting even by, by disrupting my business. And yeah, it cost me a bunch of money, but as I said in the response to Bulldog Mindset video, you know, it needs to be done. It comes with the territory, but a, but a real man should stand up to call the scammers and to fucking respect the game and, and tell you the real optimized solutions and call out the, the rest of the industry that, that could never do anything like this in a million years. Okay, and, and they're just gonna sit behind their fucking super chats in, in leather drag and, and other various fucking loser attire and say, it's all fake, okay? What makes more sense? Guys that show zero receipts, zero infield, zero proof of hot girls whatsoever, zero proof of their, of their clients getting good, zero proof of their own game abilities, okay? And also zero proof of their own ability to explain the game, okay? Literally nothing, just a guy off the street that can just claim a bunch of stuff versus a guy that openly shows the whole lifestyle and would put on more display with their only fans with these reports of having like three five sums in a week. And in the past month, we've had probably like six or seven five sums. And we've had like 45 coming up, probably on almost 50, three sums since I met you. Uh, less than a year and a half ago, we didn't even start doing them for like three months. So this kind of stuff is not even being, and no one's doing anything close to that. And it's been like this with me the whole way through the game. Okay? I haven't known anyone close to my lay count the whole way through. The next best guys I know in the game right now are between like 400 and 600 count, which is less than half of mine. It's not all about lay count. And no, I don't just go for maxing out quantity. We spend a lot of time together you know, with, with the regular girls. We have a lot of same regulars over. I prioritize a lot of stuff. I need to prioritize it more. Um, but I don't bang as many new girls as I used to. Like I used to set, you know, there'd be like two to five girls between new girls and rotation girls scheduled per day. And now we usually spend a bunch of time together each day and stuff like that. Um, but it's just, look at the fact that I have hundreds of hours of infield, <clears throat> including full uh, pull breakdowns that I've done from start to finish for free on my channel. No one's doing that. Bringing multiple girls and living with on camera. No one's doing that. No one's done that in the, in the fucking community, except maybe Adam Lyons. But one of the chicks busted. One of the chicks is busted. There's a dating coach that married two chicks and one's like very average to below average. They're like raising a child together and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but Adam Lyons has been connected with all kinds of internet marketing scams as well. But yeah, I mean, the, you know, showing hundreds of, of uh, photos and hookup situations, all the infield footage, just putting the, the lifestyle on full display, which and we'll have the links in the, in the description for their OnlyFans that they're starting, for my Instagram, for my TikTok, there's YouTube stories and YouTube shorts. I'm just putting tons of proof in everyone's face. I have a, a proof video that's over an hour long that we'll put the thumbnail up for that, where I go into painful detail about all the proof I have in terms of infield and pictures and all the top guys vouching for me and you know a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so like I said, by far the most proof in the industry. It's hilarious that, that these guys that will just come on camera and say, Oh, like no jumper said, oh, he, he looks like a guy that would go to the soup kitchen. I assume because of the small room I record in upstairs, which has a big desk, which is why I like to record there. So, you know, you guys be the, 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 the judge to decide here 
uh, who is really fucking faking and who's not? Is it the guy with, with endless evidence or is it all the guys with none? Okay, so then it's easy for all the guys with none to say, oh, this is all fake, or to look at my infield and say, oh, this, this is bad game. He has no game, even though I have documented the most proof in the industry, and their fucking analysis sucks shit anyways, because they don't know the first thing about good game. So anyways, is there anything else to add here about the, <laughs> yeah, that was my little rant, about the um, festivities of the weekend? I mean, basically, like, so the one we like the most, the one with the good body and stuff, she's going to come back and cook. Yeah. And then and she's nice, and she's sweet, she's, she's, she's amazing. Yeah, right? and she already knows the other girl that's moving in and stuff like that, just totally randomly. The other girl yeah, that's moving in. They had met at the beach, we were like adding each other on Instagram, and she fucking saw that the, uh, the other girl was a mutual friend. So, yeah, and that, and that new blonde girl that's moving in is very hot as well. So there will be a lot of cool stuff coming, guys. We're gonna be doing live Q and A's with the girls. Put in the comments what kind of stuff you'd like to see. We'll post all kinds of videos and, and stories and different, different stuff like this to show all the shit that's going on. While all the real alpha gurus can sit behind their super chats or having hot dude parties with like 10 dudes flaming out, okay? So you decide what you wanna watch. Or the, the fresh and fit uh, trash central paid girls coming on to have fake pseudo alpha losers do kickouts and try to assert fake dominance okay so there's a lot of a lot of things to choose from online anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh please yeah. <laughs> we just we just did some videos so we're gonna we're gonna go chill now please subscribe below if you have not already thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video see you take care bye take care some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum